the Shabila Raising Babies 101 Infants Edition. First up, Bommele Montate get support for their maternal needs through your mobile phone using Moms Connect. Then, mo big dalile mayarona ribua ka ho bofa mala abana and what you can do to help soothe your little ones. And later, we find out our easy peasy about choosing and using a breast pump. Thank you, Carol Ofori. And once again, it's my pleasure. I'm raising babies 101. Mom Connect is a South African National Department of Health initiative which aims to support maternal health through the use of cell phone based technologies integrated into maternal and child health services. The services are free to the user, and messages are available in all our 11 official languages. Mom Connect is voluntary, and Meo Imileng can opt out at any time. Before we, we begin, Harashibi. Being a mom is a precious thing. When I signed up at Mom Connect, I was pregnant with my third born baby. The nurses there did register me through WhatsApp, and that's how I get um, Mom Connect messages. Even Mom Connect messages, I took them personal because they 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 are for me and they for my baby. Oh, Sometimes at the clinic, they are telling you when you got home, you forgot all of the things because as mothers, we have a lot of stress. And then when you open your phone, you get those messages and then you are being reminded that don't forget to do that, don't forget to take your child to the clinic. WhatsApp is great for Mom Connect because I can be able to send messages, ask questions. Culturally, now we are in other time. It's not like olden days, whereby there was a lack of knowledge. So we have to go with a new guidelines according to this time, so, so that we can get good results at the end of the day. Then the highlight Every mom wish for the best for their babies. You know? Only the best. Only the best. They make you smile. They make you cry. They, they make you filled in your heart. You don't need any other thing if you have your child. Please welcome in studio Jane Sibidi, project manager for Mom Connect. Tumela Medjane Okai. Tumela Oscar Okai. I'm very excited to have you here. Gare, this project, yeah, Mom Connect, is amazing. Mm. How does Me get in touch with like Mom Connect? Okay. Remember that the program is about pregnant moms. Mm. So, Me. Otlamele are they pregnant the first of all. Okay. And then Abaneli, any other form of phone. Okay. Ne? For her to be able to register for Mom Connect. So, what do you feel about that? Do you to register for Mom Connect? Eh, eh. What do you want to register? Empa, we heading towards there so that they can start supporting you. Never wrong. Aha. Do you want to dead connect? Eh, hey, yeah. Very soon. <laughs> So what kind of important information is it to how register who Mom Connect to tell her? Okay. Mom Connect is information, a reminder about attending the clinic. See, yeah. how sons are not pregnant, what to eat, how they're pregnant. Yeah. And then it also encourages you how, how to talk to your baby, how to actually take care of yourself, how sons are not pregnant. And then th we, we, we go through antenatal labor, post-delivery, until two years with those messages and support that throughout. 
Okay. You know, Kupan Charles said, if you sign up a mom, mom connect. It's a deal of easy, highly nakoya hobele. Haki ako spitling information at thingy, it thing for kapo, everything eling mom, mom connect. It doesn't correspond to the clinic. Hobereka juang the information. It does correlate. It's actually based on your gestational age. The message is it tire with the age of Lungoyona. If you register at 14 weeks, the message will be related to 40 weeks. Okay. If you register later at 37, which we discourage, because remember, some of the complications related to pregnancy mm. can be actually managed if you register early. Mm. So if you register early, you'll get those messages at 14. We encourage you to register before like 14 weeks or so, so that you can continue to be supported throughout. So those messages actually it's a milestone. They are support us throughout pregnancy. Now you start vomiting. Now vomiting here stopper. Now you're preparing yourself to labor or pack her the bags and all that. And then you're during labor. This is going this is what you're going to be going through. There will be a nurse who will be supporting you, breathing, what to eat and what not to eat during wow. pregnancy, things so like that. So, mm. so, and so and to eki ratangi Imahala. Sure. So yeah. all you need for like a phone ever again. Yes. And then spaces are who a download app I get. You don't download anything. You oh. just register. It's not an app. You just register. Voila, you are in. And then you start you start receiving the messages. Oh. You get a message, yeah, for welcome to Mom Connect. And then you get your three messages from Monday, Wednesday. Three messages Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much, Imagine Kelebo Khabatung. I give you to the next time you Mom Connect and or to the Koha Ibile. Or the one about to Mom Connect, especially when member Ibile. Ralebo. Ralebo. Try Mom Connect for important important information for yourself and your baby. It is easy to use and the services are mahala batung, di mahala. After the break, Ritana Kafukhara ha big dilemma. We talk little ones and kofa ha mahala. Ooh, stay there, we'll be right back. Constipation in infants and children occurs when they've had hard stools or have problems passing stools. A child may have pain when passing stools or may be unable to have a bowel movement after straining or pushing. The most important sign of constipation is the poo, if it's hard and dry or crumbly and it looks like marbles. Welcome back, more Raising Babies 101. Leave it to like a Fori. Kiduti Fati, Lilindiwe, Maposa, and Dr. Nogutula Poshoko. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Yanu ngiyathi ba gore lindiwe o na le mathata ngwana ga go obofegile mala. What is your big dilemma today? Ingane am iloke ya zalo. Sina 5 months manje. Ininkinga yokuya e toilet. Ma mele ye e toilet ya kala ya screamer manje angazubana nyenze. Doctor, otari you advise ya lindiwe ki Yeah, kala lindiwe so funukwa as wukuti. Are we talking about constipation and pain? So so ba ni mbuse nso kubusa yone like my cleaner is to me le puma in, puma makakancha. Puma makaka akinele. Okay, we are Nella Lumtuan. Nella Ipol. Aganelli Bell. Okay, so into Angelo for the past five months, our guys who are seven is a normal one, one or seven is paid. So look, we are Lagasse. We are Nella. Okay, it, it you know, it could be constipation uh, because it is said that. Most formula fed babies will have a problem of constipation. That's the reason why uh, I asked her first whether the child is breastfed or not. Mm. So, you know, uh, formula fed babies really, uh, that's their main problem. It's probably because of the type of the formula that the baby maybe does not sit well with the baby. And another thing that I've just noted, your baby is five months. Yes. Okay, you haven't started any solids. Eh? You could l look at changing the formula. Okay, yes. you could look at adding more water. Okay, we, can, we could look at adding fiber, 
like prunes, you know, the juices. They tend to have a lot of fiber that will help the baby. Ngembela umtwana umangabe elibele kubi for five months. That's too long. Udla, yeah, let me just intercept here. How long or udla spakasis kana kangwa na kaho asai toilet? How long? Maybe we are hamburger one, maybe three days. Sometimes a jump in one day. Okay, but so only one day. We are screaming. We are screaming. Like I am a little bit concerned. We come to an amount of air every day. I don't expect to see the very hard stools because we are every day. Mm -hmm. As a mother, for the past five five months, the child is screaming when he's making a poo. I think you need to have consulted a doctor uh, by then. All Otherwise. Right. You, you, you can't control, you can't manage that on your own. King the tell tell signs for a mother who ring wana ona u constipated sticking with constipation. Well, uh, uh, I've just said, you know, the number of the frequency of stool. How does, frequent should does, it be? It doesn't really tell you. Mm. It's not does not necessarily tell you that the, the child is constipated. Mm. You know, a child can uh, go on for three days. Sometimes some other kids they they get a pool uh, like two two times in a week. Uh, that, that but the, the the essence is you looking at the stool. Mm. If the stool is hard, okay, and the stool. Sometimes they could be very, very large stools because he hasn't been going to the toilet for and a long time. And the stool, yeah, they, they, they are usually greyish black. You it's know. a constipation. Yes, it's a constipation. And sometimes if constipation is really serious, you could see it with some streaks of blood, mm. uh, meaning that the child was pushing such that he got some cracks uh, by the anus which bled a little bit. And that, that, that is serious constipation. Mm. You happy? Hot of it? Um, All right. Well, thank you so much, Doctor. Really appreciate it's a pleasure. it. Yeah. And thank you, Lindy. Thank I think you. there's a lot of parents go high, but it's in the same boat where and now we know we look for that black, grey, hard stool. And then you know the baby's constipated. If the poop is coming out pasty or the poop is coming out watery, you're dealing with a different story. It's not constipation. But remember, if you are not winning, your baby is still very constipated. Again, go to your doctor and let your doctor help you. Understanding the possible signs of constipation can help and detect a potential issue before it becomes a big problem. In almost all cases, your child's constipation will clear on its own or with a natural treatment or two. If you are confused or concerned at any point, don't hesitate to call a doctor. Coming up next, we are decoding A to Z. Decoding A to Z. A is for Asperger's syndrome. Asperger's syndrome, a form of autism spectrum disorder, is a developmental disorder. Children may appear to show signs of Asperger's syndrome at an early age. Signs your child may have Asperger's syndrome include obsessing over a single interest, craving repetition and routine, and not responding well to change. Early and regular treatment can help your child cope with the symptoms related to Asperger's syndrome. It can prepare him or her for adult life. Treatment usually includes a mixture of speech, physical, occupational and cognitive behavioural therapy. Now for some great news for all of you at home. You stand a chance to win a 200 Rand shopping voucher at an exclusive baby retailer. How can you be a winner, you ask? Well, just answer the following easy question. It is not important to wash your breast pump after every use. True or false? Post your answers on our Facebook page and you could be a winner. the basics of pumping breast milk and get tips on pumping so it goes more smoothly when you start. Here to help us understand breast pumping is Kerry Haupt, who is a lactation consultant, dietitian, and director of My Breast Pump. Welcome, Kerry. Thank you. So awesome to be here. Oh, I'm so excited that you're here because I am going through this process of breast pumping. Okay. Because of the work that I do, I end up having to pump milk and then um, storing it for the baby to have at a later stage. So we have a whole lot of fun stuff here. Yes. Um, let's start out with the different options of pumping. What what do you have to pump? I know this is a milk collector, you call yes. it? Yes, yeah, that's a milk collector. Okay. So literally you just squeeze it mm -hmm. and pop it onto the breast. All right. Um, what's nice about them is that it can be hands-free. Hands so free. you can actually use it while breastfeeding. Okay, so this is a boob. <laughs> and this one, you just put it onto the breast 
So you squeeze it once. Yeah. And it holds like that, yeah. which is wonderful. So it will collect the milk. Yeah. You're not gonna, no. It will collect all the milk and you store it yeah. in your bottle. So really great, while you're breastfeeding on the other breast, you right. have that natural letdown. So right. it's really great to do it like that. So yeah. Right. And also, what do you do with all that mess? So that's yes. quite nice to Especially for a lot of moms who end up having a big um, swollen breast full of milk and they just don't know what to do with it. This is a great, great yeah. thing. And then talk to me about this in interesting gadget in front of me <laughs> here. Okay. I see that's a, a breast pump? Yeah, so this is a double breast pump. Mm -hmm. So you get single ones and you get double ones. Okay. Um, the double ones, uh, are the ones that we prefer because mm -hmm. it's quicker. Okay. I mean, to sit with one breast and then the other breast just takes time. Right. And also the research shows that if you double pump, you actually help to increase your milk supply. Right. So that's a time saver and also then you pump quicker. All right. And you get more milk. Um, so you were talking about different breast pumps. So, so with, with the, you get different ones, yeah. different types. So you need to find which one's comfortable for you, which is difficult because sometimes it can get expensive. You can't yes, buy like six can't. different breast no. pumps. So what you need to do is you don't always have to push the hardest. You could actually go a little bit less. It was so you could squeeze. <laughs> I found the manual ones so just painful. pulling too much. Too much, yeah. probably. Talk to me about um, storage of breast milk. I know that it can last in the freezer for really long time. Yes. And you can also store breast milk in the fridge for long durations. Yes. Talk to us about the durations of breast milk. So it depends on, on what you need it for. So mm. a lot of moms believe that they have to have this huge stash of milk before mm. they go back to work. Yeah. And I actually recommend just storing milk for two weeks before. Okay. Because to buy a new freezer is really expensive. Yes. So um, rather to pump for the coming up week and then your milk can stay in the fridge for three days. Okay. In the, in the opening freezer that you open a lot, three mm. months, and okay. your chest freezer freezer six months. Wow. It's very important that you date it okay. and that you use your older milk first. Oh. So um, this is really, really, anything else that I'm missing to ask because I'm so intrigued by everything here? So the, the, there's one thing, is mm. a lot of moms, they try to save money and buy a second hand pump. Mm. And we really, yeah, look at your face, it's yeah. true. So, so really to avoid that, mm. I know that pumps are expensive, but if you're buying a second hand pump, you don't know what you're getting. Most um, these type of pumps are for one use, so the motor doesn't last long. Mm. So you can't pass it on to six moms. By the time you get the lot, you know, if you use the sixth mom in the pump's life, mm. it's not going to be working effectively. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kerry, for coming out and showing us all these beautiful gadgets, the breast pump, learning all about that and the importance of uh, cleaning it and uh, be careful when getting a secondhand one. Thank you so much, Kerry. Definitely. Thank you for your time. All right. Using a breast pump is an easy peasy thing to do efficient way to maintain milk supply as well if you have any concerns about breast pump use you should speak to a professional such as a lactation consultant like Kerry coming up next we're gonna sit down with our yummy mummy so excited about that don't go anywhere Welcome, Siam Tanda. Hi, Carol. Thank how you. are you? I'm great. How are you? You look fabulous. Though. Thank you. Thanks. So wonderful. Two baby girls. How on earth do you keep <laughs> it going? <laughs> I'm winging it yeah. every day as I go because it can be a bit of a madhouse. Mm. You know, screaming, bickering, shouting. She said, she said, she took, she took. I didn't. It's, yeah. I'm. <laughs> Winging it. <laughs> You're winging it. You know, earlier more episode, you know, we were like constipation mm. and more uh, yeah. Do you experience your own constipation more than how and how do you deal with it? Cool. It's it's um it's a bit of a difficult one, but uh, I remember my mother. Like, I think one thing I should try doing a lot is manika ubisi i amanzi ne proof. So zi go to zam as okay. Kabe this bonban kake kile and then I really is like constipated. Then I just I go to tried and tested methods that my mom passed down to me and. It works itself out mm. eventually. Uh, yeah, I love that. And then also, we like the breast pump and who the better key. So, when I electric, the manual breast pump, give one already. You've got a reaction. <laughs> Tell me about the reaction. Tell me about your reaction. Oh, no. Uh, my first baby, well, both babies were cesarean. So, lactating for me was in mm -hmm. So, I didn't really lactate a lot. Mm -hmm. So, Abandabanis, especially on nurses, they were telling me that the first thing I should try to do is disabend the breast pump because your na is out. And wow! <laughs> wow, what a painful experience. Mm -hmm. But, um, 
it, it, it had its place nonetheless because um, I think through that is where Sabon by actually I'm not lactating as much and then Ukrikengoku started prescribing uh, medication that would help mm. with inducing more uh, breast milk. Mm. But it was a difficult 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 uh, stage for me i'm not gonna lie yeah no but it seems the easy stage for wanaki fashion yes. you do fashion or more social media yeah. talk to me how do you balance and also running that side of the world because social media content inka a lot of work it really does um and the funny thing is god done it Abandwana Bam have embraced it because they're always seeing mommy taking pictures and daddies being the cameraman sometimes. So they in themselves have also started getting into it. Oh, Kala Umdanam is quite good with the camera, funny enough. Mm. And she likes to direct my younger daughter. I'm Kalelba, no, eat Eliza, Yima Kala, Yima So, and Bam, you know, that sort of thing. But it's it's great in the sense that the balance comes where they find joy in it and fun in it, mm. and so do I. And then in that, we get to spend time songe as a family yeah. and we make memories. And in between that, we capture those memories. Mm. So the funny, in, in its own way, it's become a bit of a blessing and a fun activity for us to do a fun blessing yeah. and a blessing indeed yeah well you've blessed us present your health for momo show we are so happy that you came and sat down with us and shared with us your life and your beautiful kids the story behind them wishing you and your family all the best Thank for the you. future oh but what i'm not sure is you know today but home from constipation again i have moody breast pump and then beautiful see remember get all the time for me, Carol Lafori, Talibana, next time, take care of yourselves.